Hello beautiful souls. Welcome to my newest pick a card reading and this one is titled your relationship checkup. Now I'm planning on doing these once a week if you guys like them. They are just going to be like a checkup on the current energies of your relationship. So I pulled a planet card, a zodiac card, and a house card. The planet card will talk about the part of your personality engaged into the relationship. The zodiac card will talk about represents the universal energy that surrounds your relationship and then the house card is going to represent the area of your life affected so this is going to be like the area of your relationship the area of your life that your relationship is affecting it could be positive or negative we will find out then i'm also going to look into your feelings and their feelings and then we're going to look into kind of where the relationship is headed and find out where you guys are currently going. Now remember where you're currently going is not set in stone. Things can always change. Nothing is for certain, but basically it's gonna show where you're going at this current time um, with both your current mindsets. So today I'm gonna have you choose between three options. Number one will be the beaded bracelet. This is my baby's bracelet I got for her, super cute. Number two is going to be the rose quartz. And number three is the butterfly ring. Now make sure to comment down below if you guys like this reading. C comment like hashtag weeklies or something if you guys want me to do a reading like this every week. Like maybe every Sunday so you guys can kind of see where your relationship has been and is headed. Okay? So I'll see you guys at your pick, alright? Alright, those of you who chose the bracelet, this reading is for you guys. So the first card we're going to draw is the planet card. So this is going to represent the part of your personality that is engaged in the relationship. This is going to be the energies for both of you. So you got Pluto and it says the ability to transform and take a big leap forward and rebirth. So maybe things have been really broken down between you two. They have really like old things are dying, old patterns, and you guys are really transforming as a couple. You're breaking down um, old boundaries that you guys had set amongst each other and you're rebirthing yourself. You're kind of digging into the unknown. Maybe you guys have been getting into deep conversations that have... Um, how would you call it like um really in-depth emotional conversations and then you got the zodiac sign so this is going to represent the universal energy that surrounds you too and you have taurus so it says the energy around you shows an abundance of nature it's rich earthy productive yet relaxed and slow so you guys are being very productive together, very earthy, um, very relaxed, kind of content, kind of very chill relationship, which you guys are rebirthing and transforming. And then the house card, this is going to represent the area of your life affected by the relationship. And you have the second house. So it says assets, finances, and things that you value. So I feel like you guys are definitely um, maybe sharing money together or are planning on kind of combining your finances and building something definitely going through a transformation but you're very productive relaxed and slow i feel like you guys are kind of like a power couple um two earthly energies here with taurus and the second house kind of seems earthy to me okay and so now first off we're going to get into your feelings and then we'll take a look at their feelings all right so i'm going to zoom in a bit so you guys can kind of see the cards a little better all right, your feeling is this could be the one. You are already met the romantic partner you seek. Definitely, since you're in a relationship, so you definitely feel like this is your one. This is your one and only. And then you have energy. It says with limited energy, you'll achieve more than you ever dreamed possible. I feel like you guys are definitely a power couple. People that are going after um, their dreams and goals. And you guys are building your little own little empire, your own little kingdom together. Or you will be if you're not that serious. This is definitely um, in the cards for you guys. And very energetic. So you're feeling like he's the one. There, you're feeling tons of energy. I don't want to get too many cards. I feel like these are going to fall. I okay, guys, so the cards fell, so I'm sure I have edited this part out. So I'm just going to show you them one by one. And then you have belonging. Oh, how sweet. This is the sweetest ever. 
so you have this could be the one energy and belonging so i feel like you're feeling during this relationship that you definitely belong they definitely are the one um you, you want to build a relationship with them your feelings are very genuine and sweet and you really feel like you kind of have a sense of belonging maybe like a best friend thing definitely all right now let's get into their feelings and find out what's going on with them so we have playfulness it says to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to have fun and shine. So yeah, they're feeling very playful with you. Probably really flirty, lovey, um, sweet, kind of that innocent love. And then they got protection. Oh, how sweet. Create a sacred space to keep uninvited energy out. They definitely want to protect you. They want to be playful, but they definitely want to guard you from anybody that might want to hurt you. They're very protective over you. Their feelings are being very protective right now. And then you have the fleetling, which is so weird. I knew this card would come out. So you're definitely their inner passion. You are the one. There's the one here. I don't know if you guys can see it. One. Yeah, so you are their passion. You're that fire burning inside their heart. And this is a true deep love for them. They definitely know this intuitively. So it looks like your guys' feelings match. Like they're really playful. They want to protect you. You have energy. You feel like they're the one. You feel like you belong. The energy surrounding you guys is like you just want to make that money and keep moving forward as a couple. So that's really good energy. So now let's see where you guys are headed. So you got the sacral chakra. So I'm gonna go ahead and read from the book on this one because I'm still learning chakras for you guys and let's find out what it means, but it's already a two. So that's a good number when it comes to union. Known as the sacral chakra, the second chakra is located two fingers below your navel and relates to emotion, desires, creativity, and sexuality. So yeah, you guys are definitely going to have lots of emotions in the future. This is where you're headed, these last three cards. So lots of emotions, desires, creativity, and lots of sexuality. So that's awesome. That's good for a couple reading. And then you have truth. So another two, which is cool. So here I got two, two. This is actually 20, but still two truth. So this is like you're definitely going to be truthful and balanced with one another and fair and just. So not only creative, romantic, and sexual, but there's going to be a deep trust and a deep bond between the two of you. And then you have awareness. So yeah, you're going to come to a deeper understanding of your relationship and um, be very aware of each other, um, aware of each other's needs emotionally. It's almost like you guys are kind of psychically and intuitively connected and there's another one here. So I feel like you guys are able to focus on yourselves and build yourselves up, but still be able to have this beautiful union with truth, creativity, sexuality, um, sense of belonging, passion, and protection. So I say those of you guys that chose this, this is a really good relationship. You guys seem to be doing very well. You guys seem to be very balanced when it comes to the emotions. And I feel like you guys are going to be a big power couple and be able to get really far and be very successful with each other. All right. So if you guys like this reading, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below hashtag um, weeklies. If you guys want me to do this every week, I will start doing them on Sundays as long as I have time. And I thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. All right. Those of you who chose number two, the rose quartz. This reading is for you guys. So the first card I have is the planet card. And the planet card is going to represent the part of your personality engaged in the relationship. And this is going to be the two of you combined. So this will be your personalities engaged in the relationship. Oh my gosh, I love it. So it's Venus. So that's about love. So you both are definitely love. The part of you that desires beauty, success, indulgence, and valuables. So yeah, you guys are about a successful relationship a beautiful relationship and kind of attaining things that are valuable i feel like this is more of like an emotional value and then you have the next card is going to be the zodiac card and the zodiac card is going to represent universal energy surrounding the relationship and you have libra and it says the energy is diplomatic and gracious. It seeks harmony and balance in relationships. So they don't always talk about um, relationships in these cards. So I think it's really neat that they do here. So it says the energy is diplomatic, gracious, and seeks harmony and balance in the relationships. So the energy 
surrounding you guys is a balanced relationship and there's even two people here so i feel like you guys are very balanced focused on love and success in this relationship so already great both readings have been good so far i'm so happy okay and then the last card is the house card and the house card represents the area of your life affected by the relationship so you've got the ninth house oh amazing this is a beautiful relationship wow broadening your horizons either spiritually academically or on a long journey so you guys are definitely um on a spiritual journey together um this is divinely guided so you guys probably have some type of soul contract that you guys made before birth to be together and help each other through this spiritual journey so yeah beautiful relationship i feel like this is definitely a very healthy relationship now we're going to look into your feelings and then we'll look into their feelings and then we'll see the outcome okay so your feelings are calling in your soulmate it says your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you two together so i feel like you both were kind of looking for someone like each other um you almost feel like this is your perfect partner you've been calling and waiting for this for a really long time so don't be afraid of the union just accept it i'm sure you're already just like it's so balanced and so beautiful it's like true love balanced um you guys are spiritually growing so definitely soulmate and for some reason you are the only one that got the two witchling cards and they just had to be that way so we got intuition so you're very feeling intuitively connected to this person it's almost if you can read their thoughts um you always know how they're feeling um you're very in tune with them it's like you guys kind of speak telepathically you could be on different parts of the town while you're working it's almost like you guys still have conversations and are always on the same page and then you also got um serenity and it says the spirit of serenity brings calmness and connectivity of all that is so yeah like i said you're feeling very connected these came out together with the intuition so i feel like you definitely feel like this is your soulmate you feel like you guys kind of have this psychic bond together and you feel very serene and connected to them and one more card for your feelings oh honesty oh my god i'm loving this reading you guys holy crap so you feel like you want to be 100% honest, 100% loyal, and and let that passion burn between you two. That's so beautiful. That's so beautiful. So honest. So your feelings are legit. All right. Now let's check out their feelings. Oh, I love it. It just gets better, guys. I'm not kidding. I did not set this up. It says true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So yeah, this dude definitely feels like this is the romance of a lifetime. This is true love. Sweet. How could he not? Like this seems so perfect, so balanced, so sweet. Oh my God, I'm dying here. Okay, then we have cleansing. Energy cleansing creates a healthy and harmless space in which to thrive. So maybe guy, maybe he or you have been doing some clearing out to kind of benefit that relationship, kind of getting rid of anything that's not working for you guys. Maybe they had some friends that really weren't good for you guys or them, and they're kind of clearing that out. Thoughts, ideas, patterns, behaviors. Maybe like even just as simple as like quitting smoking. Whatever it is that they're clearing out, this is because of their feelings for you, and they want to be a better partner for you. And then you got message. So yeah, this person definitely wants to talk to you all the time, all day, every day. They definitely are picking up on those intuitive messages because it's like an indigo color, which reminds me of the third eye. So they also do feel psychically connected to you and they are receiving your messages when you guys are kind of communicating through the mind. I feel like this is definitely happening here. All right, and then let's check out where the relationship is headed. So that's gonna be the next three cards. So we got the waiting game. So maybe you guys have a lot that you want to do and you're just kind of waiting on it. Let's see what else we get. And this is a two, so that's a good number to have. Then you got universe, 21. And then you have emotional loss. So maybe you, the clearing is the emotional loss is kind of coming from the other partner here and this is a change that they're making within themselves maybe there's some things in the past that you guys are going to have to heal together and you definitely the universe does have your back here with the number 21 lucky number 21 the universe is going to help you guide guys guide you through these emotional loss maybe past traumas and this is going to take some time so don't be afraid this is a divine union this is true love you guys both feel very you know closely and connected to one another and you are right about it so don't worry um you will be able to kind of see through this this emotional loss something you might lose it could you know 
just kind of getting over a past memory. These are developing you and helping you guys grow a new relationship, okay? So if you guys like this video, please, actually, you know what? I'm gonna, on that emotional loss, I'm gonna get a clarifier real quick, just to kind of be sure, because I feel like I wasn't too sure on that. Find out, okay, so I got a card, and then we got the magician. So yeah, maybe they're kind of just kind of, the emotional loss is the loss of the old self, so they can be that magician, so they can manifest whatever they want. So maybe you both are kind of detaching from your false selves, so you can become this magician. This thing is going to take time, the universe is backing you, okay? So that's that clarifier there. So yeah, the loss is kind of the old self, so it's not a serious thing. It does, you do grieve, um... The loss of your false self any kind of loss is like a death so it might be kind of a, like a weird time for you guys but just know that it is transforming you guys to be the magician which is somebody who can manifest and have whatever they want because they know thyself all right so if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you like comment down below which option you chose let me know if it resonated also if you guys want to do that me to do this every week comment hashtag weeklies in the comments so i know if you guys would be interested in doing these readings again, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Bye. All right, those of you who chose the butterfly ring, this reading is for you guys. So the first card we're going to look at is the planet card. And the planet card represents the part of your two's personality that's affected by the relationship. Ooh, you got Mars and it says physical energy, drive, strength, and fighting spirit. So Mars is kind of like that war energy. Maybe you guys have a lot of passion. Passion also comes with the uh, kind of explosive fights sometimes, but I do feel like there's a lot of passion and a lot of drive here. So maybe you guys activate that passion, that drive, or you guys, it could be that other side too. Let's see how this goes. And then the next card is going to be the zodiac sign and the zodiac sign is going to represent like the universal energy around the relationship okay so we have aries how weird and it's mars that's wild that is wild the energy around you is dynamic spontaneous um crusading impulsive action is likely so maybe you two are very impulsive you know this is a very impulsive relationship maybe you guys haven't thought about it a lot maybe you just kind of jumped right into it in the beginning or just just was like pure passion fire 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 aries is ruled by mars i did not set this up look at how these cards match um i think that is amazing red could be a prominent color here but definitely there's a lot of fight a lot of drive um very spontaneous you guys are a very spontaneous couple all right and then the next card is going to be the house card the house card represents the area of your life affected by the relationship so we have the first house which is wild now i think the first house is ruled by aries too i'm not sure hold on i'm gonna look it up on my phone real quick and then i'll edit out the time and i'll let you guys know so hold on a sec okay guys so it is aries this is the craziest shit ever okay i'm not sure i'm like going nuts here so you got mars aries and the first house so definitely ruled by the mars aries first house energy these are where they all belong aries is ruled by mars aries belongs in the first house so definitely this is big this is basically what's going on in your relationship what people see and the impression you give all right so that's super wild i've never seen anything like that what are the chances of that that's crazy okay so let's go on so the next cards are going to be um your feelings then we'll go ahead and find their feelings and then the outcome so your feelings you got engagement it says your love life is extending to a bigger level of commitment so maybe you guys have been really spontaneous kind of carefree but you kind of want to commit now you kind of want to settle down and lay down your roots you also got a meditation it says meditation will trans transport you to a place of bliss and at any desired time of the day so maybe you've been meditating quite a bit to find out how you can get this relationship moving forward to the next step maybe something a little bit more serious and less self-centered because aries is about self it's number one it's the first house it's mars it's kind of a little bit misunderstood i'd say <laughs> all right and then you have reminder 
don't forget. So you're feeling like this is definitely a relationship you will never forget no matter what. You definitely want to take it to the next level. You want to um, gain a deeper commitment with this person <clears throat> and kind of come to completion with your guys' first stage. Maybe you guys are just dating or maybe you've been together a while, but you really just kind of kind of wrap up that carefree stage and get into something more serious. All right, now let's look into their feelings. It says finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay, so you guys, maybe they feel like there is some issues when it involves finance. Maybe their finances are not, you know, where they want them to be at. Maybe that's why they haven't taken that next step with you. That may resonate with some, maybe not for all, all of you. But for some, the reason they haven't taken that next step of commitment is because maybe they don't feel like their finances and their career are in order yet. Or vice versa. Maybe they feel like yours isn't in order. It could go either way, but definitely finances and career are affecting um, their feelings here. And then you have empowerment. But definitely feel determined and empowered with you. They feel like they can do anything. So even though this is an issue, they still feel empowered to go continue on their path and start heading towards better finances and career, okay? And then you have confidence. Yeah, you make them feel empowered and confident and able to go after. Maybe there is like a new career or idea or something they've been wanting to go after um, or really passionate about and you help them feel confident, you help them feel empowered and you help them feel like they're gonna be able to go after this goal, this dream, this idea. You really give them that spark and that fire inside. All right, so in the next cards are going to be um, where your guys' relationship is headed. And you have hope, which is amazing. Also another 10, two eight was a 10. I don't know if I mentioned that. That was from the reminder card. But yeah, hope. I don't know why I said hope. It just says light. But to me, this seems like hope. This seems like the car, the star card. Um, I feel like a lot of hope around the corner, a lot of light. And then you got partnerships and ally, ally, alliances, yes. So amazing. So you guys are definitely going to be linking up, partnering together and building some type of deeper bond, deeper alliance amongst each other. So that's beautiful. And then you have rest and rejuvenate. Yeah. So after all this kind of bonding, this hope, you guys are really going to be able to relax and rest and just kind of sit with yourselves. I think meditate was on there too. So definitely meditation is kind of an advice thing. Maybe this is a big th thing for you guys. Maybe you guys have been super busy and super passionate and super going after all kinds of things. And um, just don't forget to rest and meditate. So this is in your future. A lot of rest, a lot of downtime, personal time um, for you too. Maybe you guys can meditate together, do your own form of meditation or meditate separately. But this is really going to bring a lot of stability to the relationship. So it looks like it's headed in a great direction. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below hashtag weeklies if you guys want me to start doing these once a week. Kind of as like a relationship checkup. See how things are going. See what direction you guys are headed. See what energies are going on. Um, let me know what you thought. And subscribe if you like. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.